In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you how to use Anki for your rotations, your shelf exams, and overall step two. Okay, this video is, well, I'm actually kind of doing this on a whim. I've had a lot of people asking me about this topic, and I get it. Rotations are uh, definitely quite stressful when you're going into it and you have no idea what you're doing. Um, as you can see here, I am just a week out from when I'm supposed to be taking step two. So this video is very unplanned. I'm just throwing things together. I wanted to at least explain how I was doing things. Uh, now, I just threw together a quick Excel document to show you what my schedule was like during my third year. I realize everybody's going to be different, uh, but just so that you get an idea for it. So I started with surgery and we actually only had six weeks, which I realize is normal for a lot of people, but normally at our school, it's supposed to be eight weeks. And you can tell we have a ton of this elective time. And the reason for that is COVID basically made it so that they had to shorten things and move things around. Um, but anyway, I had six weeks to study for this surgery. And during these two weeks of transitions, I started doing a lot of the surgery flashcards. Uh, and then I knew I had an elective after, so I didn't do any flashcards. But this two weeks of the last two weeks of my elective, here, I started doing flashcards for ob guide so I was basically done with the ob guide flashcards going into that rotation. Uh, and then the last two weeks here, I started doing 30 or 40 new flashcards a day, so that I was more or less done with peds when I was starting that. And I just repeated that as I was going. But um, as you, uh, you can see, I did have breaks in here. So if I had a break before, then a lot of times I did my flashcards on the break as opposed to the last two weeks of the previous rotation. Uh, but that's kind of where I started doing things. Uh, and then right now, I'm in this dedicated period and I, I did have a big elective month-long elective for dermatology here and I have been doing practice questions for step two here and that's why I'm only taking two weeks of dedicated as opposed to other things but just it's just so you kind of understand what's going uh, now I kind of want to help explain how I'm getting the flashcards that I'm doing uh, and then missed question filtered decks, I think those are extremely powerful. And that's more or less what I'm going to go over in this video here. I have a ton of other videos on YouTube. This is an entire playlist here and I will link this in the description that goes over every single shelf exam. And this is including how to use Anki, but also including, you know, rotation tips, what kinds of things you should do to be honoring, getting good evaluations. And you can see I've done everything. I've included a thing on OSCEs as well. Also this how to approach missed questions here. This is super super important when you're in this year because you're basically going to be learning from practice questions. Uh, some people will watch online meta videos or read textbooks and stuff, but I feel like Anki plus practice questions is truthfully all you need. You don't need a textbook as long as you're good at this and how to approach missed questions. So in that video, I break down exactly what you should be doing and how you should be learning from those questions. Uh, and then I'm also going to link this video here, how to set up the decks by missed questions and stuff, because uh, I feel like it's really helpful when you're on this. If you, especially if you want to keep your flashcards going, then you can have a, a deck that essentially pulls out things. I, you know, I, before this is not in here anymore, but I did have a a filtered deck for every rotation. So for surgery, I'd pull out those. And then all of my other cards in this deck would just be a compilation of everything else that I had done up to that point. So the first step here is a lot of you are probably uh, finishing up with step one. And there's a lot of step one and step two tags here. So what I would recommend doing is you've been doing a ton of these cards, like probably 600 to 1000 a day, which is brutal. And you can't keep up with that anymore. I was doing maybe 100 a day uh, over this third year, maybe a little more on some rotations, a little less otherwise. So anyway, I would definitely recommend here what you're going to do is suspend all of these. Uh, and what you're going to do is you can click on this and then you can command or control click on the step two and that pulls up all cards that are tagged by both actually. Um, so what I, I would do is use that uh, keyboard shortcut there to essentially find all of the flashcards that you still have in your deck that are related to step two. Keep those flashcards. Get rid of everything else uh, that is step one. So you can uh, click on step one here. Instead of control or command clicking, you can control or command plus alt and if you click the step two deck. And that's going to be all cards that are in step one. And then the minus sign here means all the cards that are not in the step two deck. So these are cards that are just in step one and not related to step two. Definitely suspend all of these. I would not recommend keeping them going. Okay, so the next step here is now you're starting your rotations. What are you going to do? Um, well, I first you want to do this. And there's a lot of 
tags here in the step two deck. I realize it's not super organized and we're working on that, actually planning on a new update here in a couple weeks. But there's a delete tag. You definitely wanna click this, click over here, do Commander Control A, select all of those and delete the notes. Get rid of them, 100%. You don't want them, trust me. And then there's a lot of these duplicate tags and stuff and I'll show you, you actually don't need to use those. You can just go to the shelf tag here and this really is all you need to use. If you go to, for like me, my first rotation was surgery. If you click on surgery and then Underneath each of these is a no dupes tag. I've basically taken everything that's relative to surgery. You can see that there's about 2,500. Click on no dupes and it pulls out a lot of cards. Uh, and this will hopefully get more and more. There's a lot of duplicated cards between the step one and step two decks. And the person who made the step two decks would just copy the cards when they were relevant to two rotations. Like surgery and internal medicine are gonna overlap a ton. My goal was to get rid of that. Um, and it's like if I pull up this here, I did a lot more flashcards on surgery. When I got to internal medicine, I had already done family med, peds, ob and surgery. So I had way less flashcards to do because I didn't have those duplicates. So that's essentially what that is. So you're gonna click on this. Those, those are the cards that you wanna do. Now notice there are a lot of these that are step one. This is LOL, not a cop cards, uh, which you probably have already covered. So what I did is I got rid of those because I wanted to prioritize just doing the, the new stuff, stuff that was new content to me. Now, if you're really weak in the step one areas, you may actually wanna consider doing these. But here's how I did this. So I clicked on no dupes. I'm gonna use those shortcuts I was talking about before. So command or control plus alt is gonna get rid of something. So we do not want the Zonky step decks and we do not want the Zonky pharmacology decks and we do not want the LOL not a cop decks. Those are all the step one decks. The Medical Arc, Zonky Step 2, and the Cheesy Dory and stuff, those are all of the, um, the, those are the Step 2 decks only. So now you can see I've narrowed it down a little bit. And then what I would do is, especially if you've been doing these flashcards already, um, then I would do is suspended up here. That's gonna make it so that it's only cards that are suspended. Now mine didn't do much because I have most of them suspended already. Um, and then the next thing you wanna add is minus, flag and then one or whatever flag you want to use one is a red flag so i do minus flag one and i'll show you why in a second so i've got this huge thing here i'm actually on the new beta version of anki 2.1.45 um but i realize that's not public yet and it has this over here uh, there used to be a filter button right here you would do filter and then save search on this one i'm going to right click here i'm going to click save search and i'll type this as surgery to do now the reason I do that is now I am making a deck here, surgery to do. I've got 1300 cards that I need to do. And if they are unsuspended or flagged red, they will be kicked out of this queue. So I have 1300 cards to do. You can do the math, whatever. You wanna do this over two weeks, then you would do 1353 divided by 14 days, whatever. So you know how many you need to do. Now let's say I need to do 50 flashcards a day. What I would do at the beginning of the day is I have 50, cards I need to do. So I'm gonna click here and I would shift click down here. That's 31, shift click again. Whoop. Let's try that again. So I'm gonna shift click down to here. So I get to 50, it's probably right about there. It's being finicky with me here, sorry. Click and shift click. All right, 51 cards here. So this is the 50th card. I'm going to hit control, uh, let's see, command five, which tags it blue on mine, it may be different for you. And that I just flag it just so I know where I'm at. Now I'm gonna start at the top and what I'm gonna do is just use the arrow keys and just go down one at a time until I get to this line here and then I'll unflag it and then I know that I'm done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at each of these flashcards and say, do I need to do this flashcard? Now a lot of you are like, wait, you always talk about how you need to learn and then do the flashcards. That's true, that is true. However, you don't need the videos and stuff so much with step two because here, if I sort by date created, it's just a mess. They were making these flashcards based off of practice questions. So there's no organization whatsoever. Now there are online med ed video tags down here, which is cool if you wanna use those videos, that's great. I feel like most of these, honestly, you're gonna be able to pick up and learn just from doing the flashcards. That's what I did. And, and this is a great example flashcard here. What's the next step in blunt abdominal trauma, somebody who is unstable? Now this is a picture here that actually goes over the algorithm, uh, which is helpful. I didn't show that for copyright reasons on here, but these two cards here, you know, this is a hemodynamically stable patient. Now what do you do? 
you're basically learning an algorithm and you understand enough medicine at this point that is not hard. You understand if it's an unstable patient that you need to do something quickly. They've got f positive fast exam. That means they've got fluid in there, probably blood. You need to do something fast. So an exploratory laparotomy. Once you've read this flashcard the first time, it kind of makes sense. And then you look down here and it says, hey, what do we do now with a stable patient? You've got positive fast exam. Well, they're stable. We've got enough time. We can do a CT. We don't need to go straight to the OR. Oh, cool. That makes sense. Most of the flashcards are like that. Now, this is both new content. So I would unsuspend these as I was going. And then if I got here and I go, oh, is bursitis characterized by pain with active or passive range of motion? Say, I already knew that. I covered it with step one material. It was easy for me. I'm going to flag it as red. Um, and because I chose flag one here. If you use a different flag, that's fine. So this means I'm gonna do these cards, I'm gonna not do this card. Then I'm gonna look here and I go, what bacteria, bursitis, oh, staph aureus, that just makes sense. That's probably what I would have picked on a practice exam. I'm gonna flag it red again. And I'm gonna go through all of these and do the same thing. Now, when you're going through these, you wanna minimize how many cards you're doing. So you wanna ask yourself, not do I know this? You wanna ask yourself, is this going to help me answer a question right when I'm doing practice questions. So for example, this one, I may not have known that bacteria for bursitis is specifically staph aureus, but if you had given me a list of questions and I didn't know what the answer was, I'm immediately gonna be thinking staph aureus because that's on the surface of the skin and that's probably the most likely cause for an infection, right? It just makes sense. So I'm just not gonna do that flashcard because I wanna minimize my flashcards. And, and then same thing as you're going through these. And the other thing is be liberal in suspending them as you're doing it. You don't necessarily need to do all of these things. So that's kind of the gist of how I was going through flashcards. I did the same thing for all of these. So for psych, I went to no dupes and then I got rid of these decks here like that. And then you can actually open these and toggle this open if I hold command suspended and then I don't want the red one. So I'll do command alt red flag and I go like that and I'm done, right? And you can get rid of other things as you want as well. But now when I'm up on the surgery tag, as you can see, I have 1349. If I go through a few of these, click here, and I unsuspend a bunch of them, and I flag these ones, and unsuspend that, and you know, you'd get through quite a few. I've got 1349 up here. I'm gonna click up here and refresh it by hitting enter. Now you can see I have 1339. So it's just really easy because you've got this saved search up here that's just gonna keep things so you always know where you're at and how many flashcards you need to get done. That's the gist of it. Now, next thing I would recommend doing is as you are making flashcards for questions that you miss, which you will miss a lot because you're gonna use these flashcards to learn, I would recommend adding a missed questions tag. Now I've added a ton of missed questions tags. You can see I did Amboss and I would tag them as uh, Amboss or I would tag them as UWorld or I missed them during surgery or psych or whatever flashcards that I missed. And I added a tag to the ones that were in the deck or I made these flashcards on my own. And I feel like that's a really important thing because then you can make these missed questions filtered decks. And if I go to the options here, you can see this is anything that I've tagged with missed questions that is not step two stuff. And then this one here is anything that I've tagged that is missed questions step two. Just makes it really easy. And you can also, the other thing I would recommend doing is let's stay on the example here. I'm on my surgery clerkship. Uh, go to the step two deck here. Uh, and surgery, here we go. And I'll click no dupes. And I'm going to go to notes. Let's see, edit and create filtered deck. And I'll create a filtered deck of, and I didn't even pull that out properly. Uh, so I probably have an add-on or something. But it should pull out this search here. If I click this, it should pull this out as my search criteria. We'll just go back and, and tools, create filtered deck. Should look like this. And then is due. And then I'd set this to 99999 and And I would set this to surgery deck, you definitely want to check reschedule answers, you can do whatever you want here, I would set it to random and then I click build and it pulls out so you can see I actually have five cards to do today that are related to surgery. And I did that and then I delete it and add a new one when I got to the other thing. Um, I realized I went through that very fast. If you're having questions here, there's this video or I do have a video on missed or on custom filtered decks that kind of explains that whole process. So 
that's uh, that's what I'd recommend for using Anki for the shelf exams and such. I did actually continue all of my flashcards all the way through here, uh, and then I suspended them uh, right before dedicated so that I could just do practice questions. Not everybody's gonna do that. Don't feel like you need to do that. If for whatever reason you need to get a 270 on step two, I probably would recommend doing that. Uh, but it is hard when you wake up at 5 a.m., you get home at 8 p.m., you need to do practice questions and 100 flashcards. Um, it's exhausting. So if you feel like you need to do surgery and then suspend at the end of surgery, that's fine. Um, and, and it's gonna work out with you. It's gonna work out okay uh, to go back and do things here because a lot of step two, it's just a different mentality than step one. And a lot of it is you're learning in the clinic and so it sticks. Uh, so anyway, that's how it goes. If you have questions, specific questions that you want our help with, we do have our memberships, our Patreon. Uh, it's basically a QA and a service where we can help you out. So with that, good luck. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at On King Med. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.